Obviously, Millennium is known for playing pick comps, and you guys dismantled it very well in this game. Tell me how you guys exactly did that. Uh, we figured we'd try and end up with Lulu mid, because she's like classically good against pick comps. You've got the massive shield, the big HP gain from the ultimate, and from there, it's just like we kite them back a little, and we just fight out, and we win. Well, Selfie's uh, ultimates were definitely on point to make that work. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I do feel like the synergy between you and him has gone up in the last couple of weeks. I don't know if you agree, but how did you establish that? Uh, we're just trying to work together more, and hopefully it's working out. I mean, we got pretty good KDAs, so lots of fantasy points, and that makes both of us happy. Absolutely, lots of fantasy points. Now, of course, you guys um, had good super weeks in the past. I'm referring to the beginning of the spring split, and then it kind of went downhill a little bit from there. How are you going to try and keep this up, 3-1 and one now, going into the rest of the season? We're just going to try and have sufficient preparation for every game in the super week, because when you're playing like two games in one day, you can often overlook one and focus too much on one other. But we're trying to just keep every game as consistent as possible and like the same plan, same pick and bands, like the level of consistency needs to improve, and that's what we're working on the most. Well, you guys did amazing. Three and one here in Super Week. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you very much. All right, guys, we got to take a quick break. But when we come back, the Copenhagen Wolves take the stage once again to fight SK Gaming. And as we roll out, check out the Copenhagen Wolves, the storied history of landing top 80 carries. And